The vending machine business has to be the worst business to get into. First of all, the machines are expensive and there's a lot to learn. Also, the hardest part is getting a location. Man, I was getting rejected so many times. Man, I haven't got this rejected since prom. But worst of all is the gas. I've never paid so much gas in my life. So if you want to help me pay for the gas, press the like button because you ha is charging me 75 cents a mile. So I need as many likes as possible. In this video, you will see how I got my first location. You will see how much I collected from my vending machines and for all the people who lost at paper, rock, scissors in my last video, you'll have a rematch today. And I know what you're thinking. It's about to go good for Mr. Reyes. Well, it's going to get worse before it gets better. And it's going to start with this phone call. All right, so you guys know how I already have a confirmed location. Hey, bro, sorry, sorry, sir. They said, yeah, they want a vote on the company vote on the 17th. For sure, for sure? Like, you talk to the main boss or they got to get approval? No, it's, it's a for sure, bro. You got it, man. I'll make it happen. Hi, my name is I'm the vending machine guy, George. Give me your number. I call her and right away I'm already thinking that they're gonna say no. That they don't need a machine after all. That I just spent $1,500 on a soda machine for nothing. And then she tells me this. Man, I'm just trying to work on making sure we have a space, okay? Sounds good. Alright, awesome, thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs> this close, I was like, they're gonna stay, they don't want no more, they don't got approval. Long story short, they are doing construction and want me to wait until they are finished. That's perfect, because I'm still waiting on the vending machine, which should be here in about a week, but in YouTube time, that's two seconds. So my vending machine is here. Yes. It's only the 17th when I needed to get it to the location, but the location understands. Let's check it out. So when I ordered the machine, the guy said, Reyes, what kind of design would you like? We have Pepsi, we have Coke, and I just said, give me something that says America on it. And he replied, say no more. All right. So what do you guys think is in here? I'm going to give you a guess. It rhymes with vending machine. And you might be asking, but Reyes, how are you gonna take it down? I don't know. Oh yeah. And I'm proud to be an American. So I got the key right here. Check it out. Yeah. There we go. I open the machine and I'll be honest, I have no idea what I'm looking at. But the very first thing is to test it out. So, test number one, does it even turn on? Let's see if it works. Does it turn on? Yeah. Test number two, does it take my money? So it's working. Let's fill it up with some coins. Fill it with some sodas. Let's see how it works. Who put some change? We put some Canada Dry in there. Let's check it out. First test run. I'm gonna be so upset if this doesn't work. I took my money and what the? It took my money, but I didn't get anything in return. But before I start panicking, so I went to go buy some sodas because hopefully. All he needs is sodas, because I can't take any more headaches. I'm restocking the machine, and I decide it's still breaking my head. I need to call someone. I need help. And I decide to call someone who has so much knowledge in the vending machine business, someone who has a great heart, and someone who is going to be a millionaire in the next couple of years without a doubt. 
but he didn't answer. So I called Mark Siddle. Hey, 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 Mark, I'm just playing, bro. You know I love you. Okay, so look, here's the thing. I put a dollar in here, yeah. but nothing comes out. How many did you try? Well, one, should I just keep trying until one comes out? Mark, you keep doing it, try again. Oh, so that's the thing. Mark pretty much broke it down like this. The machine needs to do a full cycle before they could vent a soda. And looking back at it now, it makes sense. I don't care. Okay, I got one. And you guys were stressing. Okay, so here's the second one. Okay, here's the third one. But instead of putting a dollar every single time, Mark showed me this trick. You gotta press the yellow button. It's gonna say error, coin, test. And it says CO1. What does CO stand for? I don't know, but up and down. So I'm gonna go with CO number four. So pressing three, ready Nick? Yeah. All right, don't let it touch the ground, all right Nick? All right. One time. They're coming in vicious on there. Yeah, that one good. Let's try number five. All right, so we're gonna do the Sprite. Coming in hot Nick, it's coming in hot. Nothing? All right, so that was the first vent, second vent. Ah! My fingers. Nothing? So that was the cycle. Ready? Yeah! All right! It's ready, man. It's ready. You know what the next struggle is, Nick? Getting it over there. Getting it over there, bro. I forgot to let you know I went to Costco to buy the sodas, and I spent $110 on drinks. But I'm about to spend even more because Costco doesn't have orange Fanta, doesn't have 20 ounce waters, and doesn't have red Gatorade. What a shame. Gosh dang it. So let's see if we can find what we need at Walmart or see if we're just gonna get another headache. Gosh dang it, man. I'm, I'm so sick of the headache. You know what? This is my last video right here, Nick. That's it. After, I'm quitting YouTube after this video because I'm just done. I'm a girl ride this shit for the rest of my life and just be have a simple life, you know? <laughs> That's it. I'm like, please tell me Walmart has it. So we go all the way to the sodas and sure enough, they have it. Got everything I need. Got to stack up the machine and I'm going to call our location to let them know, hey, your vending machines are ready. When can I take them to you? Here's the thing. They were supposed to call me two days ago and they haven't. Hopefully they didn't find somebody else. All right, so as you can see, everything stacked up. And so let's test them real quick. We'll go first. <laughs> What's that, waters? Boom. I decided to try the waters one more time because for some reason, when I press the waters to vent, it sounds like it's struggling for life. Watch, listen, listen to it. Help me. I think it's doing three vents. Let me try one more time. Did you get stuck? Yeah. Oh, they're getting stuck. Show one more time. Nothing? No, you got caught. <sighs> what headache is this? I don't even know anymore. Let's see the power aids. Ooh. The only problem is the waters. I'm just gonna have to buy different brands. But to be honest, I'm not gonna worry about the waters because I gotta call this location to confirm real quick. So I'm about to call right now and I'm a little nervous because I'm not the best salesperson. And of course, I'm not a big fan of getting rejected. Who is? <sighs> but let's find out if we got this location real quick. Just so you know, official. Beret shirts are valuable, and for a limited time only, when you buy a shirt, I'm going to call you to show my appreciation. You could ask me a question, you could tell me about your business, or we could just talk about the gas prices. Link in the description below, and I'm gonna use all the money for my merch 
to help me grow my vending machine business because as you'll see in a bit, it's about to get pricey. Hello, please leave a message after the tone. So, she didn't answer. I sent her a text message saying, hey, it's the vending machine guy. I haven't heard back from you and just wondering if you got the okay to take the machines over. I could be there for sure Monday. Hopefully she replies back. So, oh my gosh. She messaged me back. This is what she said. Have to wait even more. I have to wait more to start making money. But look, this is something I learned a long time ago. You can wait for things to happen or you can make them happen. And I'm gonna go make it happen. I'm getting a location tomorrow. But first, you know, I'm looking a little bit scruffy over here. I'm gonna go get a haircut. But with the power of editing, I already got it. All right, let's go practice the sales pitch. All right, that's it. So my sales pitch, I'm gonna go in there just like a bad I'm gonna be like, yo, my name is Reyes. I have a vending machine business. Wondering if you will be interested in having a soda or snack machine here at your location. And that's when I'm gonna pass them a flyer. And they're gonna be like, hmm. And that's when I'm gonna tell them, just letting you know, 100% free to put here. I stock it, I clean it up. And best of all, 10% of whatever I make goes to you. What do you say? And that's it. I'll be honest. I'm always a little nervous when I do sales pitch. All I could really do is just knock at like 10 doors, hoping one opens. So I'm here at the first location. I'll be back in a second. Boss wasn't here. Let's try another location. Spot number two. So spot number three. They already have a soda machine. Someone beat me to the punch. Spot number four. You know what? I got another one of those. Hey, let me ask the boss. You know what? I think I gotta show a little bit more cleavage. I think that's it. Look at this, look. Another location, let's go. Spot number five. And spot number five said no. I didn't get a yes. Am I bummed out? Just a little bit. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop trying. But since I'm just so busy with YouTube and the other stuff, I decide to use my secret weapon. I'm really trying to grow my vending machine, but I'm just so busy that I'm like, I'm gonna have my girl help me. Yeah, she's gonna go get some locations for me. Well, hopefully, I'll keep you guys updated. And the good thing about using your girl as your salesperson, I'm already paying her with love. What else could she ask for? You, babe. Uh huh? Just wanted to let you know that your check bounced. Babe, what are you gonna say to me right now, baby? Can we talk about this later? But did that help me get a location? Well. So, a location called me yesterday saying, is this Mr. Reyes, the vending machine guy? It is. How can I help you? Pretty much they said they've been looking to get a soda machine and a snack machine for a while, but now my net's headache. Because right now, I'm taking one headache at a time. <sighs> I gotta get a U-Haul to move the vending machines. Let's call the U-Haul place, see how much it's gonna cost. Man, I just been burning money over here. Hi, I was wondering if you guys have any U-Hauls available? Thank you. So I was wondering if you guys have any U-Hauls available? Oh yeah, there's U-Hauls available over If it's for local here in town, the 15 foot with a ramp rents for $29.95 plus 79 cents a mile if you do it today. The 10 footer is $19.95 plus 79 cents a mile. Okay, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me get your info in. And you know what, me and Nick couldn't move these machines by ourselves, so I had to call the buffest guys I know. Sus, yeah, I just doubled up on crypto. I just doubled down on the new vest. Now my chair looking like two checks. Type of money made me want a two step. Who next? This week, I be on the moon next. Stop going right. up like two X. Catch a fast flip like suplex. Two wheelers stepping like a duplex. You bet, never lose change, but I do flex on it. I'll black with you, my hook on Onyx. And I get brains like I'm hooked on Funix. Can't get a meaning cause I'm booked till August and I look like a gent. Never switch up. It's evident I gotta pick up with the best left off and the best dressed out. Leave a mess when I step this. Yo. 
Was that the easy part or was that the hard part? What what was it, Eddie? Oh, the easy part. No, that was the easy part. A VR clutch. Acting like you seen this right here. You big all sus. Look, I just doubled up on crypto. New op out, give me the info, give me the bag quick. What I gotta be talking rent for? Finna be giving all of that back and then I'm a kid folk, making the ends. What a day. Yo, I don't even gotta go to the gym. I just gotta move vending machines. And that's my workout. The workers, they loved it. And now, I'm gonna wait a couple of days and I'm gonna show you my first collection. I'll see you soon. So, it's been four days since I placed the vending machines, the soda and snack machine. We're gonna go check up on it. Man, hopefully I could make about $20. I don't know, but for all the people that lost in my last episode, Paper, Rock, Scissors, here's your chance. Here's your second chance. One, two, three, pow! You didn't think I was gonna do rock again, huh? But I did. So, let's go check on my vending machine location, see how much we made. Yeah, 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 foreign. foreign. Yeah, you see my web, you know it's foreign. I'm so foreign. Hey. Then you see my girl, you know she foreign. I'm in Lauren. Yeah. You've been wearing so before I tell you how much I made in only four days, if you guys want a vending machine, I got the hookup. I talked to the owner and he gave me a coupon code Reyes99. Use that, you get $50 off your vending machine and you don't even got to buy mine. There's a lot of cheaper versions. Make sure to check out the link in the description so you can get a good quality vending machine from them. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 dollars. But you know what, that was only in four days. I'm gonna go back in a couple weeks. I just bought another vending machine. I just got another location. So if you wanna see more vending machine content, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. I'll see you in my next video.